Flappy Bird was a mobile game released in 2013. In early 2014, everyone was talking about Flappy Bird, a simple game where you control a bird through auto-scrolling pipes. If the bird hits the pipes, they die. It seems like it would be easy, but the bird jumps in such a way that it feels very tight. Most people won't even be able to get through 10 pipes on their first try. If you even miss time by a fraction of a second, it's over. At 10 points, you get the bronze medal, 20 to silver, 30 to gold, and finally at 40, the elusive platinum badge. But some people have gone farther than the 40 points of the platinum badge. Much further. In a score-based game, it's only natural that there will be people seeking to get the highest score. 100, 200, 500, even 1,000 pipes have been reached by players who have gone through the time and effort to master the game. The next question naturally is, who got these scores? And how? While well, most likely on the first day, people may have set scores even up to a thousand. My friend personally was able to get 200, but we'll never know about these scores besides from things such as word of mouth. If you look up on YouTube what the Flappy Bird record is, you'll get lots of clickbait videos on things like them reaching 999 and Mario coming out, or millions of points, which is obviously impossible. From some googling, the first notable recorded score would be from a Vietnamese man called Lam Thao Nguyen with a score of 841 on February 14th of 2014. Just a few days later, on the 24th, the first 1,000 point score and a new record would be set. A 1,597 point score would be achieved, this time posted on the site Record Setter from Bazzy Wouters. This is where the record would sit until May, when Kevin Kim would almost set the first 2,000 point score. In the background though at this time, I myself was personally trying to constantly improve my personal best over and over. Kevin's score would elude me for much time though, as I would always get nervous as I approached it. Many months passed, and on October 18th of 2014, I set a score that would stand the test of time. How long did it stand? Six years. In early February, the creator of Flappy Bird, Dong Nugent, took the game off the App Store. Some people would think this was due to copyright issues with Nintendo, but from what Dong Nugent himself said was like Notch, the creator of Minecraft, the game had simply gotten too big and he felt bad that people would play it so much. From Yahoo News, Flappy Bird was designed to play in a few minutes when you're relaxed, the developer said, but it happened to become an addictive product. I think it has become a problem. To solve that problem, it's best to take down Flappy Bird. It's gone forever. After Dong Nguyen took Flappy Bird off the App Store, its popularity quickly died, and as of October when I set my record, it was mostly dead. Even if it was never deleted, Flappy Bird was a fad, just like fidget spinners or memes from a different time. I only beat Kevin's score by 4 points. While there was most likely a 2000 point score that wasn't recorded, from my knowledge, my score was the best documented score for 6 years. 1,940 pipes. So entering the modern era, Flappy Bird has been dead for ages. Would my record set forever? <laughs> well, no. In mid-2020, maybe due to quarantine, one person got a renewed interest in Flappy Bird and beat my score by not 4 points, but 400. Jace One set a 2,311 point score on July 20th of 2020. I was quite proud of my 1,900 score, and since I saw it hadn't been beaten in so long, I thought perhaps it may be like that forever, so it was quite surprising to see someone finally take down my record after so long. In February of 2021, when I also had nothing to do, I decided that I would try to get my record back. I certainly knew I could do it, and as February progressed into March, I would play more and more. What makes getting a score this high hard, you might ask? Well, Flappy Bird isn't that precise, but it certainly is easy to hit a pipe. Due to the pipe placement being random as well, there's a dynamic element to it and you can't just do the same thing every time. Depending on how the game wants to treat you as well, you can get pipes which are very easy or pipes that go from top to bottom many times in a row. 
strange vertical differences, pipe near the bottom where you can hit the ground, and just generally things that would kill most players who aren't on their A game. Over thousands of points, you're pretty much guaranteed to come into these things multiple times. The main thing though is focus. 2000 points takes roughly about 40 minutes. Due to there not being much leniency, if you decide to blink, have a cramp, stretch, change your hand, all your time playing can go to nothing. Whenever you see a score with thousands of points, you may see some close calls, and it's very easy to see that if they were even a few frames later or earlier, they could have died. Going for that long is also painful. Eye strain, hand strain, it hurts to play Flappy Bird that long. Nerves are also a factor to consider, and while they may not affect everybody that much, being thousands of points in may get into your head a little bit. On the 15th of March, I decided to go for the record again, or at least beat my old score at the very least. My friend joined the call a few hundred points in, and I had a good run. 1,000? 1,500? Then I beat my old record. But what I didn't know yet is 1,500 points was only a drop in the bucket. My run was good. Really, really good. The record fell. 3,000 points. 4,000 points. 5,000 points. And I kept going. Many times I should have failed, even having points where I was practically touching the pipe. But I kept going. I kept flapping my wings on towards the sunset, on far, far beyond the record, and looking towards possibly 10,000 pipes. This is what happened. This is my Flappy Bird world record. At 100 points, this was a standard game for me. I usually get to this point, so I wasn't nervous at all. Getting to 500 points is certainly not unprecedented, but it's still nice to see no matter how good you are at Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird is a very linear game, so this means you're 10 minutes into a 50 minute record. 1000 points. This is a special place. Reaching 4 digits has only been accomplished by around 10 people on video, so it's definitely impressive to get this far. Initial nerves are starting to kick in here. 1500 points. This is approaching my previous record. At this point, I know that this is a real possibility. My doubts start to fade and my heart starts to beat faster. My previous record. This was indeed a massive accomplishment, but I had bigger goals in mind. I was proud of myself, but I wasn't going for my own record. I wanted to be number one. The world record. I could explain how excited I was, but I think my reaction explains it better. I don't even know who's yeah, telling the truth right now. Let's go! Let's go! Yo, pause. The king is returning. You suck the king! You suck the king! I love you. The king's going. He's going. The king doesn't stop. The king world doesn't stop. World record! 3,000 points. This was an insane accomplishment for me. I truly thought I would fail at any point and had already had quite a few close calls. 4,000 points. I wasn't failing. I had the technique down. I'm starting to believe at this point that I'm going to reach 10,000. Double the world record. I never thought this would happen, ever. I'm not in my usual self right now. I'm not stopping anytime soon. I could go forever. I don't think about the game. I'm on autopilot now. 5,000 points. Nerves are gone. This wasn't a normal run. These weren't normal circumstances. The gods were watching down upon me this day. 6,000 points. I've had close calls. Honestly, if you told me I would get to this point back when I got my first record, I wouldn't ever believe you. But there I was, and in the moment, it all felt so serene. Triple the world record. I couldn't really think much at this point. I was getting boggled down by the sheer amount of time I had to focus for. I start to get sloppy in my technique, and I have a feeling that this isn't going to last for much longer. This is my score, and my reaction. Amanda Vu, what's up? Whoa! Huh? What happened? What happened? Oh, I died! <laughs> I did the no! same thing Jace Swan did. What Rip. happened? I hit the bottom of the pipe. No. To say that this was a god run would be an understatement. I wouldn't be able to replicate this for a long time. I might never get to this score again. Not only did I get lucky, but I had to focus and not blunder for three hours straight. As of the time of making this video, this is where the record currently stands. While I may have not been able to reach 10,000 and possibly meet Mario, I'm still the current Flappy Bird world champion with a score of 7,847. To anyone who wishes to try this for yourself, Give it a try. The scene is quite dead, and it would be nice to see it revived in some way. Who knows, you might be able to get second place. 
And if you're dedicated enough, perhaps you may even dethrone me or get the magical 10,000 points. But don't think I won't take my record back. Thanks for watching. Happy flapping.